Welcome to 5 Minute Reviews, where my opinion matters and yours doesn't. Today we're going to be talking about the Super Mario Brothers movie. And yes, there will be no spoilers. So the movie was actually pretty good. I give it like an 85% out of 100. It was all around it. This movie started, it was like, oh, let's, let's see where this is going to point out. It was actually like, they go in or do stuff, and they go in see how things roll out and I want to get the spoilers he goes and he's shows how he lives and how he got to the mushroom kingdom and then it got to where it unfolds into the big battle with Bowser and it, you don't really know what the point of the story is until like the middle of the movie but it was all around a good story I give, like I said, it's an 8B, A tier movie. It was pretty good. And if you're a Nintendo fan like I am, it was actually like you you knew what you were going into for like a Mario movie. Had everything from every Nintendo property in there. Some e Easter eggs. I'm not going to say anything because there's no spoilers. But the music was awesome. It was great. Had a lot of Mario game references. Had over 130 songs, and it was it was it was good. The animation was pretty really good. I liked how it was everything was like done neat. It's a good step for Illumination for their animated projects because everything else sucks except for the newest Minion movie and Despicable Me One, but that's it. It's not like Disney or Pixar and DreamWorks type stuff, but it was actually pretty good in the way how they did it. There were some. It was there was some funny moments from like Seth Rogen and Jack Black. They carried the whole cast. That is five minute reviews. This is my take on the Mario movie. Like I said, I give it an eight out of ten. You should go watch it. Bring your friends. It's really good, and you'll have a really good time.